So a few months ago, I came across these super adorable Monster High character patterns on Bracelet Book. And as someone who grew up absolutely in love with Monster High, these were like perfect for me. And of course I turn everything I can into like content. So I thought it was a good idea to do a video of making some of these Monster High bracelets. There were eight patterns total. So in part one, I just made four out of the eight and I just figured if you guys wanted to see part two, I could make the other four. And literally one person said to, <laughs> to make part two, but that's good enough for me. So that's what we're doing today. We are doing part two of making Monster High bracelets okay the patterns that i make today will be linked down below if you would like access to them i also have different videos on how to make bracelets how to read patterns different techniques etc that will also be linked down below if you need help with that this video is not a tutorial i don't know some people there's like a disconnect and they think that me showing a 30 second time lapse of me making a bracelet that takes me like six hours equates to a tutorial so i don't I don't know, I don't know what's going on guys. What are we doing? <laughs> anyway, and yeah, without further ado, let's just get into making these bracelets. Okay, so this is the creator that has made these Monster High patterns. So if you guys remember from the first part of this video, I made Frankie, Draculaura, Claudine, and Laguna for part one. So we just have four other patterns left to make. So we have Operetta, Abby, Cleo, and Gulia. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these patterns to my to-do, and then we're gonna go ahead and print these out and get started on making these. Okay, I have all of my patterns printed out right here. And the first one I'm gonna make, I think will be Operetta, I don't know, her, pattern just intrigues me the most. She's definitely my least favorite character though. I don't really remember her too much from like watching the movies and the show and stuff. So I have all of her colors picked out right here and all of this is scrap thread. I feel like I say that in like every video, but you know, recycling queen, sustainable queen, whatever. And for the background, I am choosing this color. It's a little different from the pattern, but I think it's nice. It's kind of just a bit of a darker like teal color and I think it'll fit in nice with the color scheme. So yeah, that's about it. Let's jump into making this one. Okay, here is the finished keychain. You guys, this came out so stinking cute. I forgot how much I love these patterns. I just love the design. I just think they are so adorable. And I really like the color scheme of this keychain. Next pattern on our list is the Gulia one. I don't know what happened to my printer. The background color up here looks kind of peachy and then it turns to yellow. I don't know what color it's actually supposed to be, but that's besides the point. I have all of my shades picked out here and majority of this is scrap thread, which is awesome. And I decided for the background, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do white instead. Not a fan of the yellow or even the peach, whatever it's supposed to be, but I think white will look quite nice with this design so without further ado sorry my bracelet is like my bracelet's annoying i'm sorry <laughs> without further ado let's just get into making this one The finished Gulia keychain. I am obsessed with how this one turned out. I really like her design and just the colors together. Next pattern on our list is Miss Abby. I believe her full name is Abby Bonneville. Maybe I, I think I don't, 
I don't actually know. But I have all my colors picked out. She doesn't really have that many. It's mainly just like two shades of blue and purple. So this should be pretty simple. I also decided I'm going to be using gray for the background. I think the yellow does look kind of nice and I would do that, but I don't really have the right shade of yellow to kind of like replicate this. So I think gray will look cute though. So that's what we're going with. So let's just jump into making this one. how Abby came out. I feel like her design is my least favorite, unfortunately. I think it's still cute, but just, I don't know. She doesn't give like the other ones give. Also, do you remember when I said this was gonna be easy because there's like minimal colors? Um, no, because do we see all these color switches? Do we see all these color switches? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no ham, no turkey, okay? This was hard. I did not enjoy this. Whatever, let's just move on. Our last pattern and the last keychain we have to make to complete this collection is Miss Cleo. Cleo Denial is her name. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so the colors I have are all right here. Everyone say it with me. This is all scrap thread. Woo! Okay. And then for the background color, I had this like dark sagey color and I thought this would be cute. I have like all the keychains I've made thus far and I'm kind of trying to like not repeat background colors with them and I don't have like a green background yet and I think this will actually look really cute with the colors. So anyways, let's jump in to making this one. Here is how Miss Cleo turned out. I think she turned out super freaking cute. I do feel like her skin tone shade that I chose is a little dark and also a little more on the warm tone side. I think she's more cool toned, but it was just the closest shade that I had to match her. I don't have like a ton of shades of brown. So I did the best with what I had, but I still love how this turned out. And I actually really like the green background as well. But that is going to complete it for this video and part two of making all these monster high key chains. Here was everyone that we made in this video. I am so happy. These are just so stinking cute. I hope you guys like them. Okay, well that is going to wrap it up for me today. So once again, here were the four keychains that we made today and we can go ahead and add it to the other four we made last time. Oh my God, y'all, these are literally so cute. And I just love that I have all of these together. Don't ask to purchase any of these. These are my children, they're not for sale, thank you. But these are so freaking cute and I'm just so happy that I was able to make all of these. This is so special to me and I love that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the process of making all of these. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye guys.